What's up, people? I am almost certainly real. Back at it again here at 20 minutes to dawn. We're going to do something a little bit different with this. This is the endless mode. Um, it takes a little while to get through, so I'm going to edit this video down uh, to kind of the key moments. We'll see here at the beginning. We've got ourselves the bat gun and diamond. So diamond is the health character. Just kind of wanted to play around with those upgrades. So we've got ourselves reload speed and attack speed when we get hit. Um, and then also damage when we heal. So kind of try to do a little bit of a heal build, see if we can make that work, potentially go infinite with our heals or maybe infinite with the damage. The endless mode is, yeah, uh, not really super well balanced. It is in beta at the moment. Uh, so that's kind of to be expected, but there is a lot of sort of fun things to try to break. I think that's kind of what is gonna make this mode fun. I don't know that it's actually gonna be super easy to actually balance, because obviously there are just some upgrades and different things in this game that scale uh, a, a little bit better than other things. Obviously ice um, is the, the obvious choice, but I wanted to try to do something without ice. So we're just trying to get lots of projectiles and then get uh, get ourselves the burn, get ourselves the burn upgrades and then that heal on burn. I think it's called uh, soothing something burn. I'm not sure. Yeah, so let's jump ahead to the first chest there. Um, took a little bit of damage in the beginning, not great. This, um, that chest there, the pierce on low damage is not bad for us, but not really what we're looking for. We're looking for those things that scale with heals. Um, I think I take another level of splinter here. I think I already have one level of splinter. Splinter does work quite well with this character because we are going for that burn damage. So we don't care about the 10% damage. And then also our splinters are homing, which is pretty nice. Definitely a little bit of a tougher start than other things in the game though. Um, if you are just getting started with Endless and you want to try a build out and you're getting a little bit stuck, I would recommend try Glare. If you get the hits twice as often, if you get that three times, a Glare goes absolutely insane. If you're not familiar with Endless, you can get um, three of any upgrade. Um, and if you get three times, the Glare hits twice as often with a little bit of the double damage. It goes a little bit crazy early game. Definitely falls off later um, the HP on stuff kind of scales to the point where I think uh, basically eventually you need ice to actually kill stuff um, and this this boss is a little bit tough for us as well the game ramps super hard in difficulty here in a couple seconds we'll go ahead and maybe fast forward through this next little bit but yeah this is definitely kind of like the tough part of the game because we don't really have our build online. We don't have that heal happening yet. What do I take here? I think I take the Tome of Rage for the extra attack speed um, and extra clip size. Don't really care about the bullet damage down. Um, magnetism, yeah, magnetism is just super nice. That's what we pick up there. And yeah, this part of the game is probably the hardest between five and 10 minutes, or maybe five and 12 minutes. That first 10 minute boss can be very tricky as well depending on whether or not you have the damage to kill him. Uh, but you can see we are kind of doing pretty good damage here, even though we don't have glare. We take another hit, um, which feels bad, but we get that double base projectile. So we have an insane amount of stuff coming out. And I think, well, let's see, I think I get soothing warmth pretty soon. Um, I get a little bit of HP there, which is nice because we take another hit of damage. And let's see, so there's that soothing warmth, which is heal on burn. And you can see my HP start to climb up there. Pretty crazy um, what that does for us. Okay, so a minute eight boss, we get ourselves the diamond bulk up. That is increased bullet damage and bullet size by 15% when we heal. Pretty nice to get that. Um, I think the actual, the other one where you get attack speed and reload rate uh, when you get hit is actually probably a little bit better for us because we are kind of um, doing pretty good damage with those burn on hits right now. The extra damage is definitely kind of nice. What do we take here? I think probably igniting lens. Mm, do we? I'm not sure exactly how igniting lens works. I think that we can get multiple burns happening off of it. Um, I don't know how it interacts with the lens upgrade that doubles it affects. Uh, I think I think it works. I think we get a lot of burns happening because for us to be able to heal one point of health, we need to do something like, I want to say 600 or 700 burns um, once we get the soothing warmth to max level and get three upgrades into it. So we need to do quite a lot of 
quite a lot of burns to stay on top of our health and later on we actually heal quite rapidly um, even just by attacking a little bit so I'm pretty sure the lens all that stuff does work with the burn but you can see here we just kind of run around take a little bit of damage and then get those burns going a little bit of RNG I think I'm missing quite a bit of the burn type upgrades at this point uh, but later on it definitely starts to pop off so let's go ahead and skip ahead Okay, so here is the 23 boss. Um, my tactic at this point in the game is to use the trees to take damage. It's just a very reliable way to take damage. And then we can heal it back up. And here we get Berserk, that is fire rate and reload rate when we take damage. Um, a little bit bad RNG, I think, that we got it this late. I think I had most of the other chests at this point in the game. Um, but yeah that is just gonna make us go a little bit crazier here you can see we're just running into the tree taking damage healing that back up and let's go ahead and skip ahead again okay so here we are at the end um i think at this point i had left the game alone with an auto clicker attacking once every five seconds or so something like that and that kept me healed up pretty easily our damage definitely falls off i think without the Without the ice, I don't think that you can scale up in damage quite fast enough to kill off these later bosses. We do definitely do good damage. Um, it's a little bit hard to see exactly how much damage we're doing a hit at this point, especially because it's not clear whether or not stuff is always going through the lenses, but you can sort of see it there. It seems sort of like a 20 something thousand per hit. Um, but yeah, super laggy. At this point, I'm just kind of holding down the mouse button to see what happens. Kind of thought it would crash, but it doesn't. Somewhat surprising. Yeah, but with that sort of, I want to say one second of invulnerability we get, we can very, very easily heal ourselves back up to full life there. Um, it looks like the game speed's running at about kind of four or five seconds there. I pulled up my FPS graph. I think we were getting, uh, I think about three frames a second there, which kind of makes sense. A little bit of a slideshow. You can see off in the top right there, we've got a couple of those charger bosses around. I'm not sure exactly how the scaling works here in this endless mode, but it does seem like those um, kind of bosses that drop curses seem to scale up in HP much more than the bosses that drop chests. I'm not really sure exactly why that's the case, but that seems to be sort of how it works. These laser beam bosses are definitely pretty noticeably tankier, even at the 10 minute mark, I would say they're very noticeably tankier than sort of the other bosses that show up. But yeah, let's go ahead and zoom ourselves through this laggy section, because I think later on I do a little bit of test, see how much damage we can kind of take and how quickly we can get ourselves back up to full health. You can see here, I only really need to attack every once in a while to go down to one HP and then we heal it back up pretty darn quick there. But yeah, kind of a fun build, I think. I wanted to do Endless where I wasn't using Glare and I wasn't using the um, Ice build. And yeah, I just let myself die. I want to go play some Isle of Arrows. We'll end the video off here with a little bit of kind of what the auto clicker content looked like. I think this build could basically just go on forever. We could be constantly healing. I had another build that I did um, and I will post that as well at some point where I was doing enough damage with ice to keep going. I think basically forever. I think I killed that build at a uh, hundred minutes again. I just kind of had an auto cl clicker going. Uh, a common theme of my endless runs there. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, do let me know if you like sort of this edited video format. I kind of figured that, um, you know, I don't know, it's kind of like over an hour of watching me do the exact same thing would not be entertaining. Um, considering a good amount of that. I was not even at the computer, it just had an auto clicker there running. Okay, that is it, that's the end. Thank you guys for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe.